I'm impressed. I'm impressed, guys. Yeah. You can also even use it to stuff your jacket if you have to. I've heard people, uh, you know, being lost outside, and you just fill their jacket with the cat with the cat tail down, and you stay warm. I already see these guys like, <laughs> yeah, that's the way to do and it. And then you see what they do, and then you go, oh yeah, I can do that too. So, as a community, we're learning today together. <laughs> will be flopping around right now. This is your tightener. You're going to whip this around, put it in there, and then latch it. Bring it around. Careful with a sharp edge. Yeah. And inside now, you see there's another little nut that's already inside. Adjust this so that goes on top of on top of that little nut in, inside. Can you see it? That's how it's going to crank tight. Can you and you might have to move the handle to get it adjusted, right? Move, move this little handle till you can get it. So once it's on the nut, then this is all you have to do. That little opening. So if the blade jumps, I can't cut my hand. Okay, hold on. Nice and easy, you can start cutting your wood. So at this point, I can take my hand out. I don't have to worry, I can hold it back here. And what you want to do is use the entire saw blade. Let the saw do the cutting. Some people will be like, right here. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do that. You're going to waste your energy. Use the whole blade. Nice and easy. Take your time. It's going to be really hard to hurt yourself if you yeah. Okay, it's kind of like using like a chisel now, see? Right, right. Yeah. So, okay, so I can keep going around. Yeah, just, yeah, I would try to take that off first. You can go more yeah, places. Stuff uh, there. And then I would try to take that corner off. Oh, yeah. I'll probably use a plus belt here. And then I can turn it on and do the same thing. Because if I just go through the center like this, I'm going to have to go through like this. It's not how it comes about this deep. So you have a fine line. This knot is going on. You have four knots in this yeah. thing, right? Five, actually. See the crunch. Okay. Yeah. So there's no drilling in here, you can pick it off. If your structure is played out too far, <laughs> it's going to have a hard time to heat way over here. Mm -hmm. so that, that, is nice. that is nice. Like yeah. so that is nice. So, you know, on the campsite, you know, you're going to hear. Rather than. So, when you go, you're trying to help. You're doing that. Yeah. That's a real big job. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You put some of this in there so it makes sure it burns. Yeah, so you have to put it at the bottom now. Like, there would be a. Must be red rolls. Red rolls are bust.
Okay, so I, this is what I see a lot of people do. They just leave it like this and hammer it in. But, but by the time it gets to the bottom, it's loose. So what you do is you pull it down right away to the bottom. You pull it as tight as you can, and here, here's the magic. You jam it in, and you pull it even more forward. And look, it's creating even more tension. Where do you want the tension? You want the tension towards the center over there because the tension coming from that side and that side will take out all the sags and you'll create a drum. So if you just put it like this, you're going to get a sag. If you pull it that way, you aim it, and you aim it, it's going to crisscross and you're going to get a drum tight. So here goes. I'm angling it and then I'm hitting it in. So now you're getting really tight, straight to, straight to the ground. Look at that, see so. 